you play Spock's adopted sister. That's true. Is there a kind of pressure that comes with that because Spock is arguably, to me anyway, the greatest right. Star Trek character of all time? <laughs> I love how they've woven me in. I did feel a bit of pressure, yes, because people are familiar with the Vulcan behavior, right? And so you have to be familiar to them in that way. But I am my own woman with my own struggles with this Vulcan indoctrination, so I'm different as well. The captain is kind of a messed up guy. How will that sort of manifest itself in the show and, and through the, your character? He's an uh, interesting, complicated guy. Uh, and all the characters, I think, are born of our times. You know, it might be set in the future, but the point of Star Trek has always been to reflect our times back at us. Because I'm not the vanilla hero at the center of it, they, I think they can explore things that are much more nuanced and three-dimensional than, than you will have seen before. Your captain acts as a mentor to First Officer Burnham. What kind of influence does your character have on her? Captain Jojo brings the humanity back into Michael Burnham because she grew up in the Vulcan society. It's not about wanting to break her spirit and not be this like logical, smart, and you know, get, getting things done, uh, Michael Burnham, but to make her accept that she is human. And to be human is to have emotions, but to have the good emotions of love and compassion and empathy, because without that, you won't survive yourself. Because he's the doctor, he has privileged information, you could say, and and uh, so yeah, part of the story has to do with some of the some of the work I'm doing and how that may or may not be affecting me. And then there's that question of like, how do we talk about it? You know, and what is it, what is his responsibility as as the doctor and also as my partner? You know, I think I think what's really refreshing is that we're still even in the future dealing with something as very simple and arcane as life-work balance. These Kelpians being a prey species on their planet, and then I'm the first one of my kind to rise above that and, and to go through Starfleet Academy and to become an, a high-ranking officer on a, on a starship bridge. So I, I hold myself with a certain pride and a certain uh, you know, a sense of accomplishment and, and, and hope for my own future and all that. You know, I'm seen as an outsider, but, but, but definitely embraced, uh, you know, in the, the first time we, we meet him. So, you're a Klingon. I am. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Pretty great. Yeah. How do you think Laurel differs from previous Klingons? Her heart and her integrity is there. Her humanity is very much a part of her storyline. And I'm so thrilled because, of course, anytime you play a character, you don't want them to be one dimensional. And I feel like she's four dimensional. She's got so many different complexities. Our show seeks to remind everybody that we need to be our best selves. I mean, that even if we're in conflict, you've got to put your best foot forward. And I think it's all about how we resolve our disputes. I think this version of Star Trek reminds us of where we can go because we are furthering Star Trek's legacy of diversity and universality.